Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Lure Company. Great to see you. And welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. As you can see, we are boatless folk. And of course, that means I'm with the boatless angler. Well, not always, but today we are. And today, folks, I'm gonna be running the T-Turn Bait Rig number 1A, and Antonio's running the 1A6G. These are prime for bait fish, or uh, for, uh, <laughs> Bait for catfish is what we're fishing for today, and they're also great for panfish. But for bullheads, that's what we're looking for today. I've got my little five foot ultra light rod, six pound test line, and I've rigged up with some worms. I just hooked the worms onto the thread, the worms onto the hook. And in fact, if you're interested, I have a video that shows different ways to rig a live worm for catfish, game fish, and other fish. And I'll put a link here for you, you can check it out. But right now, that's gonna be the technique. We're gonna put it down there, and I've got some nice little worms I got from my compost pile. Keep the rod tip down low, because you want your bait down low, the catfish are gonna be feeding down below. And uh, basically, you're gonna wait for a bite. Now, one thing I do wanna say when it comes to a bite, there's different kind of catfish bites, and when you see them biting like tick, 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 like just tremble bites, those are not the ones you want to pull on. That's where they're just kind of nipping at your bait. The bites you want to pull on is when you see your rod tip just go slowly like that. Just slowly move, just like that, just slowly move. That's when you want to set the hook because that's when they got the bait in their mouth. Okay, so it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Um, sun, cloud, it, regardless, it's a great day for fishing. So glad you could join me. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There is a nice bite. Beautiful, nice little pickup on this little ultralight rod. Loving it. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, that doesn't look the same. We gave that other spot about, oh, I'm gonna say we gave it a good half hour and no bites. So we decided, you know what? Let's just make a little move. And that's the thing. When the bullheads are in, you should get a bite within a half an hour. Okay, and we got ourselves a nice bullhead. Beautiful. There we go, that's a nice size bullhead right there. Now, look at that. He took the top hook. Very, very nice. That's a nice bullhead. In fact, I got one before we didn't film it, but not too much earlier. I got myself a bigger one, so I know the catfish are here. That's for sure. Okay, and he looks like he took that deep. I'm gonna need the needle nose to get him out, but that's a nice, nice bullhead right there. We're gonna have ourselves a good day. Okay, so I have re-rigged. I'm gonna try to cast it out in the same spot as last time because I wanna scent up that area. There we go, that looks to be about the same spot. Antonio just cast his line in there, so that's good. And I'm gonna wait for another bite. Now that's the beauty of having two hooks as well. When you're fishing for catfish, you have twice as much scent out there with your bait. As well, you could also catch two at a time, which is nice too. But uh, he actually gave me a really, really nice bite. I loved it. All right, that's two fish in this spot already, so I got a good feeling that we're in for a good day on catfishing. There we go. Oh, oh. Can't get them all. Nice, very nice, Antonio. Very nice, thanks. Those are actually, those are nice eater sizes right there. Perfect. So it looks like, what a difference, eh? Taking a move to this spot. It's all about the spot, like you said. You're fishing more than half hour for bullhead, no bites, kind of move. And you put your waders back on, how long are they gonna last with this sun out? I don't know. <laughs> there we go, there was another nice bite. Oh, oh, that's beautiful, unlike that last one where I missed them. Beautiful, beautiful bite. Oh wow, it feels like a good fish too. You know what, on this ultralight tackle, all these fish feel good, they're just, it's just a lot of fun. When you've got ultra light gear, light line, it just equals fun. Okay, and these, 
are going to be actually really tasty. We are saving fish today. Normally we release them, but today we're keeping. And we're going to have ourselves a nice catfish barbecue. There we go. That's another. That is a good eater right there. That's a good eater. Okay, we're going to get him off and right back into our little live well. <laughs> so it's time to re-rig. And I want to show you the worms I'm using. I'm not using night crawlers. Look at these small worms I'm using. Also known as leaf worms. They're just small worms. And uh, these I find, these I find are the best for bullhead. Now, mind you, if you have dew worms, also known as night crawlers, uh, they work well also, but all you need is a little piece. If you use a whole night crawler for bullheads, it's kind of a waste because it's, it's too much. And I think Antonio's got one on right there as I'm rigging. All you need is a little... Go ahead. Yeah? Yeah. They got some fight to them. They do. What do you think? I think we're in for a great day today. You know what? I just casted it. I didn't even put the rod down. Really? And he was there. Wow. Must have put it right in front of his face. Got a little more fight. Must be a bigger one. Good. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit bigger. A little bigger? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I'm back in again. Oh, that's a nice one, Antonio. Yeah. He's got some shoulders. Mind you, I think, like I said, I like the smaller ones, actually. They're, in my opinion, better eating than those ones. But a catfish is a catfish, and that's not overly bad. That's, that's nice. Catfish. Whoa, let's take a look at him. Yeah, it's a good fish. Check that fish out. Hey? It's probably a pound, would you say? Yeah, Close to it. I would say so. So we got our live well system. You remember these? We had these growing up as kids. That's all we ever had. As a boatless angler, that's what we had. <laughs> hey, it's looking good. Let's see that basket. It's a few in there. Yeah. We just got started, so the bite is definitely, definitely on. Okay, I just tossed my line back in, so hopefully I'll get a bite soon too. I'm not even gonna change my bait. Actually, we might have a bite going right now. Let's see. Yeah, I do have a bite going. Look at that. I do have a bite going. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh boy, I missed him. That's twice now. Oh, I'm on Antonio. Yeah? Yep. Me too. We got a double. We got, we got, like I said, that is unbelievable. Not only we got a double, I got a double. You got it. Oh, you actually got a double double. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's one of the advantages of the T-turn bait rig. You can catch two at a time, as I mentioned earlier, and those are both real nice ones. Hang on, you know what? We're gonna grab a photo for sure. Instagram and Facebook. So if you wanna just hang on to those, I'll get mine, and we'll grab ourselves a nice photo. Unbelievable, this, folks, is unbelievable. This is a lot of fun. Oh, I got a nice decent one, one too. That's it's, a nice one. it's a good one. It's a good one. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I gotta be careful. I only got six pound test line here. Okay, there you go. Gotta love that. Okay, a photo for our Facebook and Instagram friends coming up. We got an aggressive one on the bite. Aggressive one on the bite. <laughs> I just, I just, I love leaning into them like that. I absolutely love it. Oh, this one's... This one's got some weight to him. He's either a really nice one or it could be a double header. We shall see. Okay. I just love it. I just love it. No, it looks like it looks like one fish. I think. Yeah, it's just one. And a good one. Nice bullhead. Oh yeah, that's a nice bullhead. That's a nice bullhead right there. Hey, beauty. Hook just in the side of the mouth. That's how I like it. Easy to remove. And these hooks, they're long chain hooks. So it makes it a little bit easier for hook removal. But isn't that a nice chat, a nice uh, bullhead right there? Okay, Antonio, 
I know. <laughs> and with the long shake, let's just get it out. Open your mouth up. Come on. Just, there we go. Those sandpaper-like teeth grip those hooks. Nice bullhead. Got a little bite happening. Yeah. Well, I just threw mine in. You got him? Yeah. Nice. The bite is definitely on, eh? The little guy, but a good eater. It's definitely on, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Smaller than the last one, eh? Smaller than the last one, but good size. Oh, I shouldn't have lifted him. <laughs> Did you do a catch, catch and release? release. Catch yep. and release, yep. I think I might have had a, a little plug here. Yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. I'm telling you, you caught and released, and I hopefully I caught. No, huh? <laughs> yeah. This is unbelievable. What a difference a move makes. Honestly, half an hour at that other spot. We get here. We haven't been here. Honestly, we haven't been here 10 minutes. Okay, maybe it's been 10 minutes, but you know what I mean? It hasn't been long. We're just, we're just catching, catching bullheads. This, folks, is what boatless angling is all about right here. It's another nice one. This is what boatless angling is all about right here. Okay, that's a nice boat head right there. Antonio's got another bite. We're just we're just gonna have a seat. Today. I just put it in. I just put it in. We are gonna have ourselves just. I think we're gonna have ourselves an outstanding day. But as I was saying, this is what boatless angling is all about right here. Finding a shoreline. Fishing for catfish, it's really fun. On light line and light gear, it's even more fun. And that's a nicer fish too. He goes in, in the live well. There we go. Live well starting to fill. <laughs> okay, well, it's obvious we're gonna be catching ourselves a lot of fish today. I'm gonna rebait up and get our line back out there again. But the most important thing, folks, is find yourself a shoreline, get a line wet, relax a little bit, and have some fun. That's what we're doing today. Ever so glad you can join us on today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Okay, <laughs> I gotta get rigged up because this is unbelievable. This could be a double header, really. This might be.